Greetings for students by all students. This is Mrs. Rydell, and in today's video, we're going to do a little art. We're going to do a little drawing of um, of the cycles, and this is the first drawing video. And our first cycle that we're going to look at is the water cycle, hydrologic cycle. I know that you learned water cycle in grade school. We learned it in middle school, uh, so this should be pretty much of a review. Um, so I'm going to ask you to um, turn your paper the long way on your desk. So water cycles cycles through the atmosphere and cycles through the land and cycles through uh, surface water. So um, I'm going to have you draw a little dividing line here. We're going to separate our land from our atmosphere here. So about halfway on our paper, we're going to kind of put a little line across here. Um, and we're going to give our little ecosystem here some water. And you can kind of put some water in here. Uh, this could be uh, ocean water, could be a pond, a lake, a river, a stream, a puddle. Um, so we have some water on the surface of our, our planet here. And I'm going to um, make a little uh, bit of uh, elevation here. So we're going to throw a couple of mountains in our picture. So I'm going to kind of put some mountains here, a couple little hills. Um, and then uh, I'm going to ask you to draw a plant. You can draw any kind of plant that you'd like. Um, could be a shrub, a corn plant. Uh, I'm going to make a tree here. So we're going to kind of put a little tree in our picture. And I'm going to give it a little trunk here. So let's put a heading on this so we remember. This is um, the called the hydro logic remember hydro means water hydrologic um, otherwise called the water cycle and um, we're going to start with surface water on our planet and remember this could be a lake a pond a river a stream um, so this is liquid water here and i'm going to um, follow the steps now of how the molecules are moving through the ecosystem. Remember, this is one of those bio-geochemical cycles. The bio part is the life, the geo, think geography, geology, um, the land, um, and it's a cycle. So we're going to see how this process works. So I'm going to start with liquid water, and I'm going to send it into the atmosphere um, to become what we call water vapor. And remember, water vapor is the gas form of water. Um, and and um, if you think about that idea of changing from liquid to gas, we have a vocab word for that. So we're going to label our arrows as the molecules move here. And the uh, word for changing from liquid to gas is evaporation. So I'm going to label my little arrow here, evaporation. And as those uh, gas molecules rise into the atmosphere, remember, um, as we go up, it gets cooler. Um, and cool uh, gas holds less water um, than warmer gas. And so as those gas molecules cool off, we're going to change back from gas form into liquid. And it causes a cloud to form. So pick a color to be your cloud color. And... I'm going to put a little, couple of little clouds in my picture. Um, that process of going from uh, gas, water vapor, back into liquid water to become a cloud is called condensation. So we're going to put condensation here. Going from gas back to liquid. And as those uh, liquid um, water molecules now accumulate in those clouds, then they get heavier and heavier. And they're going to uh, return to Earth um, as rain, snow, sleet, hail. You can pick whatever color you uh, or um, whatever form you want to put in your picture. But I'm going to put some rain here. My little clouds are going to rain and send that liquid water back to the surface. Um, and so returning to the surface is called precipitation. You hear that in our weather report, right? Precipitation returns the water back to the ecosystem. 
Um, and then it's going to run along the surface, it's going to run down here as runoff. Or the other place that our liquid water can go to is um, sinking into the ground, can go underground um, into the groundwater and become part of the aquifer. I'm going to put aquifer. Remember you learned about aquifers in middle school. Notice we have a little cycle now. Liquid water going to the atmosphere, um, turning into a gas, and then gas condensing back to a liquid. Precipitation returns that water to um, the surface, and then either can become of our part of our groundwater system, the aquifer, or it can run off along the surface to the lowest point, which is uh, usually back into some kind of a, a water supply. Um, we have one other way that water gets into our atmosphere here, and um, I'm going to backtrack a little bit here. Because not only can water, liquid water, evaporate off the surface, but it can also evaporate off of plants. I can go from plants, and remember plants have openings in their leaves to allow those gases in and out um, during photosynthesis, but it also can allow water to go in and out of the leaf. And so that evaporation off of plants um, has its own name. It's called transpiration. Transpiration then can put um, water back into the atmosphere. It's basically evap kind of evaporation off of plants. And um, so we have a little cycle going here. Evaporation to put water into the atmosphere. Condensation to turn it back into a, a liquid in the clouds. Precipitation to send it back to the surface. And then runoff um, back into our surface water uh, creates the connects the loop, creates the, the water cycle. Okay, thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next cycle.